Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In case you are new here, my name is Marissa and I am a pharmacist and health coach and I make videos about recipes, healthy snacks, dinner ideas, um, all things health and wellness, all that good stuff. And I'm super happy that you are here with me today because we are going to be making date bars. For the recipe, we need medjool dates. Um, you can buy them pitted if you want to spend a little extra money, but since they were more money, I decided to just buy them whole and I was just going to pit them myself. Um, you are going to need some uh, cashews. I bought the lightly salted can, so I don't have to worry about adding salt. You're going to need peanut butter and I always get the Simple Truth Organic Creamy Peanut Butter. It just has peanuts and sea salt in it. And then I also have mini chocolate chips, which are right here. So, um, oh, and then you're gonna do everything in a food processor. So just get one of these out or maybe like a blender, either way, but you need something to help you like grind everything up. So go ahead and grab all of that and let's get started. Alrighty, you guys. So the first thing that I wanted to do when I was starting this recipe was to pit the dates. So I chose about half of the dates that were in this container. The container was about a pound and I used about half of it, um, but I'll have the exact amount down below um, so that you guys know exactly what I did. So to pit a date, you just take like a sharp paring knife and make a little slice in the middle of the date and using your fingers, pull it apart and just take out the pit and just place it to the um, side and go ahead and do that for the rest of your dates. Um, it's really not a hard process. Uh, it's actually pretty easy to do, so don't be intimidated by it. The next thing is the cashews. So I used about a quarter of a cup. I actually could not find my quarter of a cup uh, on the day that I made this recipe. Um, so I used a third of a cup and just kind of eyeballed it. But if you use a little bit more, a little bit less, it's not, it's no big deal. Um, this recipe is uh, very customizable to what you have on hand and how much you want to use. So definitely go ahead and um, make it your own. The next thing is chocolate chips. So again, it's going to be about a quarter of a cup. So once you have that all measured out, then you are good to go to start putting everything in your food processor. So as you can see here, I'm just putting in the dates um, that are pitted and the cashews. Next to add in is the peanut butter. So as you can see here, mine pours out really easily and that is because the peanut butter that I buy just has peanuts and sea salt and it does not have any of the excess ingredients that really don't need to be in there like sugar or other oils. So just go ahead and pour that in there and then go ahead and add in your chocolate chips. Um, just be careful not to spill yours all over the floor like I did mine. <laughs> Go ahead and put the lid on and start blending this up. So this whole thing is going to blend for a couple of minutes and I actually stopped mine about halfway through just to do like a little taste test and make sure that I liked the flavors in there and that everything was good and I didn't need to add anything else to it. And then after that, I grab myself a rubber spatula and just, you know, push down on the sides and make sure that everything is being well combined within the food processor. And then I put the lid back on and just blended it for a few more minutes. When it's done, it's going to look like this. It's going to look a little bit more on the crumbly side, but that's perfectly fine. It will form together into the shape that you want, I promise. So do not worry about that. Um, at this point, I grabbed a metal mixing bowl and took the blade out uh, from the food processor and just carefully placed it to the side. Uh, be careful, you don't wanna accidentally hurt yourself on that. And I poured my mixture into this metal mixing bowl because I had put the chocolate chips into the mixture and the majority of them had blended and I wanted to be able to see a couple of them when I actually look at the bars. So I just added in a couple, um, just like a small handful at this point and sprinkled them in and grabbed myself a spoon and just manually stirred them and combined them together. Okay, so here comes the fun part. Um, we are going to take this mixture and form it into our date bars. So I grabbed a 
pan. I think this was like a nine by nine, but you can choose whatever size you want. Um, just depends on how thick you want your date bars to be. And I just lined it with some, I think this was wax paper, but you could also use parchment paper uh, just to help it kind of come out easy at the very end so we can slice them into the bars that we want them to look like. And then going ahead and using your kitchen's best tools, which are AKA your hands, <laughs> you are uh, going to press gently on the mixture into the pan to form one solid shape. So just keep pressing around until you get the desired thickness and shape that you want your date bars to be. I actually really enjoyed this process. I found it really fun and enjoyable to do, almost meditative in a way. So anyways, just keep pressing it down until it looks a little something like this. So at this point, you are done. You can put this in the refrigerator and let it set. I left mine in there for about 20 to 30 minutes and then I took it out and now we get to cut it up and try it, which is the best part if you ask me. So go ahead and grab yourself a sharp knife and start cutting the date bar mixture into whatever shape you want. And there you go, you guys. This is my healthy cashew and chocolate chip date bars. They are so delicious and I know you're gonna love them. You guys, these look so good. I mean like, yum. Look at that. That's like, I don't know, perfection in my mind. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try it now. Mmm, mmm, they're so good. Like chewy and I didn't wait that long because I was impatient, but I probably waited about like 20 minutes to um, cut these up and they cut beautifully. If you keep them in the fridge a little longer, they're probably firm up just a little bit more, but like they're so good and they're not overly sweet, which is surprising since dates are pretty sweet by themselves and I added chocolate to it, but it's really good. And it's not salty um, or anything. It's just mm, so good. It's chewy from the dates. It's kind of crunchy from the chocolate chips and the cashews. And then it doesn't, I can't really taste the peanut butter, but it's, oh my gosh, it's so good. And the peanut butter also helps add more fat and um, protein to these to make them a little bit more filling and definitely be a great snack during the workday. You can take these on the go, all of that good stuff. So I'm so happy I made these. And for my first time making date bars at home, I think I did a pretty good job. You guys, I'm so proud of myself right now. Wow. This is so good. Alrighty, you guys. So that is all I have for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and learned something from it. If you did, please let me know down in the comments below. If you liked the video, then go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss any videos that I post here on YouTube. And come and follow me on Instagram at Simply Health with Marissa. I'm there every day with lots of health and wellness tips. So definitely come and check that out and say hi while you're there. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.